Hi there, it's me again, Rosemary Gihiki. I'm a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science student from Ohio Island State University. In the first series of this video, we'll learn how to download a Landsat image. Now in this video, I will elaborate how to classify the downloaded Landsat image using a QGIS. Firstly, open QGIS then fill in New Empty Project. For this activity to be successful, do make sure that you have installed semi-automatic classification plugin from the plugin option. I have already fixed my setup here, yet for additional information to you learners, after you install the plugin, go click the toolbar and activate SCP toolbar. Now let us load the Landsat file. In the left side of the app screen, click Browser and find your downloaded Landsat image file. In my case, I put my file in my desktop. It is already extracted. For my image classification, we only need 7 images. B1 to B7. We could use all of the images, but that would be too much for our QGIS to handle. And once you start the image classification, you'll see why. Observe that there are two B6. Include it about and organize it according to the number order. Anyway, I highlighted and put B1 to B8. So I can see why plenty of tutorials suggested to only put until TIF7. So again, select the layers B1 to B8 and drag it or right click your mouse in order to load the image. Wait for it to load. Collapse the layer and make sure that it is in order. I assume you already installed the ECP for our plugins, so click ECP to run your band set. Click that rotating arrow button to refresh for your current layers to be visible on your band list. Your band list must be identical from your layer. Select all your band list, Ctrl A, and put it as your band set by clicking that plus sign button. Then set your wavelength quick setting into Landsat 7 ETN, observe that this wavelength only supports 7 band list. Mm. We choose this wavelength, hence it is compatible to our downloads that Landsat image file. Now click on preprocessing tool and create a clip multiple raster. To select a desired location, you must not forget to click that additional sign button. After that, go back to your loaded Landsat image and select an area you want to classify. In the left button of your mouse, long press it and adjust the area you want to classify. Go back to your SCP and observe that your UL and R LR clip coordinates have a data already. Those data are from your selected area. And now click one. Then create a new folder. I made mine as a clip cluster, Rosemary Gita Blues ESP. Then this will store your clip multiple raster data to be stored and run. There is this specific sound that will occur once the process is done. After that, you can observe in your layer that clip files are now available. Now, delete the first batch of layers. Those first layers from our downloaded image, the 1 to 8 LE0 layers. Highlight those, then click Ctrl D. Now this time, in our image, the only thing left is the portion of image we cropped earlier. Now rearrange your clip layers in the same manner you did earlier, 1 to 8 and collapse it. Then go back to your ECP under preprocessing, click Landsat. Then click the tiny yellow folder and find the folder we saved earlier. The folder name I saved earlier is the clip raster of my vehicle, this is 3, then select folder. 
Then click the tiny folder below, the one with the green color. Click it and select an MTL file. It is present together with your Landsat file. Don't forget to apply DOS1 Atmospheric. After all are set in the wizard, click Run and create another folder. For the sake of this activity, I named this folder as Landsat to Reflectance, Rosemary Dihitya, BSESP. Then again, patiently wait until a specific sound will occur as a sign that the process is done. Repeat the process after you collapse the layers for it to look organized. Delete the clip layers 1 to 8 by highlighting it and Ctrl D. Then order your reflectance layers or the RT from 1 to 7. See that red error above our project? That is the explanation why it was advised to the new learners to use the TIF 1 to 7 only. Hence, mostly use the ATM7 in generating Lancet image to classify it in QGIS. Anyway, let us add color to this image by going to the RGB and let us enter the number combination. Though the given code is 321 and 432 for the natural color, I will use the code 654. For in this activity, we were asked to present the vegetation analysis of the area. Click enter. Now, we wanted to classify this image by putting this into a map. To load our map, go to Browser and find the shape file in the country where this Lancet image belongs. Double-click the file or directly drag it into your project. Be reminded that we are using the country's shape file with its municipality boundaries. I personally downloaded this, this shape file so Sir Wilbert Oreo, my instructor for this unit, environmental system analysis if you are watching this that is the reason why my shape file name might be different from the others anyway it will give the same results a philippine map with its municipalities boundaries then there is bohal and behind it is the lancet image we want to classify we would like to put this image above our map so go to layers and drag the shape file below the image now to the most awaiting part, let us classify this place by adding labels to our map. If you have watched my series where we turn our geographic system data into projective system data, then this would be easy for you. I decided to change the map design first. In layers, click the shape file, click properties, then go hit the symbology. Here you can change these coordinates, color, size, and design. Click OK and apply. After that, go add your labels by clicking Layers. Click the shape file. Click Properties. Then go hit the labels. That map is said no label. Just click it then change it into single labels. The value should be set to the format which will allow your shape files to flush the labels of the municipalities. In this file case, the value which allows the flushing of labels of the map is named ABM3EN. If you want to change this data, color, size, and design, click OK and apply. And yay, that's how you do it. Zoom the project just enough for you to view and classify the places which you crop. There, see the names.
So that is the peak of doing the image classification using Landsat images in a QGIS. I suggest you to save the file. Enjoy classifying and thank you for watching.